Hello everyone, today I would like to uh, introduce about uh, sale management and warehouse management of uh, Bravo software. So, like we all know, Bravo is uh, a custom software. So, depend on the requirements of the customer, Bravo will uh, customize the software, the process and detailed information of uh, voucher, as well as the uh, reward to adapt with the requirements of the customer. Uh, regarding to the sale management, uh, depend on the sales channel of uh, your company, uh, Bravo will provide the suitable solution. Uh, for example, if you have the uh, retail store, Bravo will uh, provide the uh, VUS solution. Uh, that means we will help you to manage all the retail session. And uh, the information like uh, the list of items and uh, retail uh, sale uh, promotion uh, or the program to uh, from the price list and uh, the list of member cards. All the information will synchronize with the uh, system. Uh, but today I will focus on uh, wholesale channel. So uh, Bravo will uh, provide the sale management function, and this is the uh, standard process of the sale management. Uh, it will begin with the customer deal or the sale opportunity. Uh, sale employee can create the sale uh, opportunity by themselves or hand over from marketing department. And and the detailed information of a customer view, we will capture some information like uh, general information of the customer, the item cost and uh, uh, required quantity. Uh, as well as uh, the sale employee can discuss with customer to uh, clear some information about the currently competitor or event evaluate the uh, uh, succession rate or the current status of the customer. After that, other department like uh, BOE will set up the uh, sale uh, uh, policy, maybe from the sale right and the wholesale account. Uh, I will take the uh, example of. Uh, wholesale price right here. So, first is for the uh, import item cost. So, we can select from the list of items. Uh, Bravo will organize all the data in many levels. For example, you can call, collect the uh, list of items and group by many uh, criteria, maybe by uh, brands or maybe or by uh, the uh, attribute of the product. And to create a new price for each item, we can have uh, some method to uh, refer. Like uh, you can uh, adjust the price from the current price, or uh, you have the formula to add the uh, profit margin and uh, calculate the uh, current result or the average unit cost of each item. Uh, because the system will uh, uh, inherit the data from the warehouse and accounting, so. Uh, you can uh, inherit data from the cost of goods sold that's accounting already cal calculate and affect the uh, just uh, percentage, maybe uh, uh, that's the 10% or 20% uh, the profit margin. Uh, with, along with that, you can uh, indicate the uh, spread list for one specific dealer label or uh, uh, detail dealer cost. And for sure, the uh, wholesale product will have the effective uh, time. So that's the uh, summary information to uh, create a wholesale product. About the wholesale discount. So similarly with the uh, product, you also can indicate the uh, wholesale discount for specific customer level or uh, one customer. and. The discount rate will be uh, equivalent with the uh, conditional apply, maybe by sale amount or quantity amount. Or uh, if you have uh, uh, the uh, formula to calculate by total sale amount for each uh, period of time, so Bravo can customize and uh, set up uh, this uh, formula in the wholesale discount. And after creating the uh, sale policy, uh, the sales staff will uh, follow the process to create many voucher like uh, quotation and sale order. 
So next is uh, about the sale order. Uh, like you see in the screen to manage the sale order, we can divide the sale order by many standards. Uh, that means we can uh, decide the approval label and uh, assign this uh, label with a group of people to approve. And uh, in detail, we can uh, import the information uh, from previous closure. For example, I will create the sale order from the quotation. And we also have the function to check the uh, current list net limits of the customer or checking the available inventory. Uh, for example, right here. So, uh, like you see, if the net limits of the customer is uh, so the system will make a notify for user to uh, wanting the user to save it big uh, credit disclosure or not. And uh, like I said before, this voucher will have uh, many labels to approve, and this label can add the some information. Uh, for example, after creating the sale order from uh, the quotation, the sale department will add the information about the vendor term and the shipping and hand over to the manufacturing to update the information about the manufacturing list time and the uh, estimate the delivery time. And uh, in case of the sale order of the sale contract, have to discount for customer. Maybe the uh, uh, BOD and the sale manager will approve the discount percent, uh, percent. And for sure, this voucher in the software will decide the printing form. So we can add the logo of uh, the company and the format to uh, present the sale order on the same contract. Uh, regarding the, to the platform to key in the sale order beside uh, WinForm application and the web form, Bravo also has the option to using uh, Bravo mobile app. That's me. Uh, sale uh, staff can using mobile app to create the sale order like this. So we'll key in the information of the customer, the item code, uh, checking the inventory, and uh, Checking the death limit of the customer. And uh, next, the process will move to uh, the process to create a mini voucher like uh, sale invoice, uh, checking the delivery, uh, checking the death confirmation, and uh, uh, icing receivable. So, uh, this process will belong to uh, accounting department. I also have a video that's uh, capture some uh, general information of the uh, accounting department. So, you can uh, see it's like this. Uh, regarding to uh, uh, reports, so we also have uh, a quiz report to analyze the data. So, you can see it's similar to it's a uh, graphic report or some uh, BI report. Maybe you are currently used. And we can uh, change the conditional filter to analyze the data. Uh, we also decide and split the uh, uh, reports into many forms like revenue or the depth and contract. And for sure, if you have uh, some custom report, Bravo will decide and add into the with uh, main screen. Along with that, we also have some viewing report uh, to uh, tracking the account receivable, the sale analyze, tracking the delivery, and uh, some information related to the quality report. So I will test the sale analyzing report, for example. So with this report, we can group the information by a sale and detail the uh, customer of each sale. So uh, in uh, uh, previous in uh, periods of time, we can uh, compare is the sale people about the sale amount, product result, and net profit. And then we will know that the uh, percentage and uh, of each customer uh, contribute uh, for each uh, sale person. Uh, about the async receivable report. So we can uh, set in the uh, uh, periods right here to groups by the all the data. So we did reports, we can know that uh, the uh, aging of uh, each customer and uh, detailed information of uh, sale invoice. And if you want to check the detailed information, you can trim down to the uh, voucher by clicking to the reports. So it will open the uh, sale invoice at the beginning.
So, okay, that's the uh, some general information about the sale management. Uh, next, I will uh, move on to the inventory management. Uh, uh, first of all, okay, for every uh, uh, module of the Bravo software, we also have the quiz report in terms of uh, BI. Uh, about the process uh, for inventory management, Bravo will uh, uh, divide into three main groups. The first one is uh, reset. Uh, the export and finally a stock inventory. Uh, the reset will begin with the reset command. Maybe it will uh, come from purchase department with the uh, purchase notes or import purchase note, or it can come from uh, sale return. So, uh, in fact, uh, the uh, inventory uh, keeper, the warehouse keeper, will have the requirement to check in the status of the warehouse and doing some process like uh, printing stamp. Uh, prepare the uh, start to hand over some tasks related to the uh, receipt process. So, Bravo will support uh, for the warehouse keeper with some questions like uh, firstly, I want to introduce the warehouse diagram location. So, with this diagram, you can uh, collect some information about the currently available status of each location uh, and detail information about the volume, about the uh, uh, waste, and the capacity. So, you can uh, arrange the location to uh, uh, receive the item from the command. About the uh, print, uh, printing the stamp. So the user can create the uh, command to uh, print uh, printing stamp right here. Uh, we can add the uh, cost, the item cost, uh, the quantity to uh, printing, and other management information like units and units right. And after that, Bravo will decide the printing form and connect with the printing machine. So you can see right here. Yeah. Uh, next step, the uh, warehouse keeper will assign the uh, inventory receive uh, voucher to the staff. For example, uh, we will create the task. Uh, with some uh, summary information like the start name, uh, security time, and uh, the document for referral. And the uh, person in charge will update the information like the complete percent, the item cost, and uh, the detailed information result like a uh, picture or the uh, file attached. And with the inventory uh, receiving voucher, we can uh, inherit from the uh, command, for example, from the deposit order or So, for example, right here. So, we will inherit data from the uh, command. And like you can see, uh, because the item cost is uh, set up to manage by loss and uh, position, uh, by location. So, if the user doesn't complete the uh, key in the information about the loss, the uh, uh, location, the system will uh, warning right here, so it's the input error, so the user has to copy uh, key in the information about the loss and the location to save this uh, voucher. So it will help the user and the system to manage the uh, item by, uh, by loss, and we would have, uh, recommend some uh, reports like uh, inventory reports by uh, uh, expiry date, or some information related to the location and uh, uh, the loss uh, like I presented uh, before. And this is the uh, example for uh, receipt uh, of the purchase uh, department. Uh, similarly, so it will apply for uh, receipt for return uh, return good or uh, other case. Uh, about the export uh, process, so Bravo can split uh, to many voucher uh, in this case. For example, like we will create the delivery notes, the uh, issue note, uh, or some internal voucher like transfer warehouse location movement. Uh, so I will take the delivery notes, for example. So uh, similarly to the uh, uh, receipt note, the And 
uh, similarly to the uh, receipt process when uh, you uh, export the uh, uh, the uh, item, the warehouse keeper also has the requirement to check the uh, inventory. For example, this one item cost the uh, warehouse uh, keeper will have uh, to check like how many is the item cost available, the detailed information of the location, the uh, uh, loss and uh, that. So Bravo will support uh, with uh, some remark. So you can check the uh, inventory by uh, by warehouse. So we can so so we uh, know that the total quantity of uh, this item, for example, right here. And after that, we will check more detail about the loss and the location. Yes. and we have the uh, inventory got by location right here so for example you will know that the this item called the uh, locate in this location with the rest uh, four and brown uh, as red finally a fashion uh, stock inventory uh, similarly the uh, inventory cutting will uh, begin with the requirement of the uh, accounting department, uh, maybe it will have uh, two requirements: uh, us schedule counting, inventory counting, and uh, periodic uh, inventory counting. So uh, on the software, the user will create the requirement to check in the inventory in uh, WinForm application. So we will select the item need to check, and the system will uh, have to uh, check in the uh, currently bookings uh, inventory. And after that, uh, the warehouse uh, skipper will assign that to the staff. Uh, to update the uh, uh, result of the checking inventory, uh, Bravo also uh, support using the barcode scanning to uh, quickly and easily to uh, scan the barcode. So you can save it right here. We will uh, scan the barcode of the item and uh, counting the uh, quantity. So the result will attach and synchronize with the WinForm application. So we can see the result right here. About the differences, uh, the system will have the function to handle and uh, maybe it belongs to the warehouse uh, and uh, accounting department. Regarding to the report, currently Bravo also has some uh, viewing report, right? Right, this. So I will take this uh, for example. So with this report, you can analyze the uh, item that's uh, slowly turn over, and we can set the uh, uh, milestone, maybe if I uh, 30 day, 60 day, and over uh, 90 day. So we can see that the uh, item and the value of this warehouse that's a uh, slow turn over. Uh, detail information of this report so we can check again with the uh, inventory report by uh, expiry date. So we can have some information to refer by uh, expiry date, the interim and outer date of this item. Uh, okay, so that's uh, our information I want to summarize about the function of sale management and uh, inventory management. Uh, if you have to uh, any requirements and you want to discuss more detail, uh, so feel free to contact me with the info below. So uh, we will arrange time to uh, visiting maybe online or apply to discuss more. So thank you and uh, see you.